So in this video, we're going to follow on very quickly from the previous video. And I'm not going to explain the program too much. We're going to practice using a mystery file, mystery WAV file. We're going to practice opening the WAV file and then sending it to a stream and then sending it to the output device. So if you want a step-by-step -step, um, instruction set on how to create these programs, this program and what each uh, line means, go to the previous video. This video is just going to be a quick run through with very limited commentary from me. So we need to import WAV because that's going to deal with the WAV file and we need to import PI audio. We need to then create sound stim, our sound stimulus and that's going to be wave.open and we need to pass it firstly the uh, file name so that's going to be mystery.wave I know that this file exists in the same folder and we need to tell it we're going to read from this file this wave file we then want number of samples and that will be sound stim dot get and frames and then we're going to get the sample rate And then we're going to calculate the duration. And that is going to be the number of samples divided by the sample rate. And then we're going to print these guys out. And this is samples per second. And then we're going to print duration is in seconds again. Remember, convert your convert your duration to milliseconds if you're running with a very short, uh, running a very short stimulus. So let's see what we get. Uh, sample rate is not defined, so sample rate. So it's just a simple spelling mistake because we're going through it quite quickly. So here we go. In this mystery file, we have 178329 samples. It's sampled at 48,000 uh, hertz or 48 kilohertz. And our duration is 3.7 seconds or so. So now in our head, we know, okay, our sound stimulus is going to last at least a couple of seconds. The next thing we need to do is instantiate Pi Audio. And then we need to create our stream. So that would be p.open format is p.get format from width. And we're going to use our sound stimulus to get the width from this, the sound stimulus. So sound stimulus get samp width. Channels will be sound stim dot get and channels. The rate is going to be the sample rate. Remember, we calculated that before. And the output is true. We have to now start reading the data from the sound stimulus. So read uh, frames. And we want to read a certain number of frames. This is the maximum number of frames per frame read. And we'll again just read 1024. You can put whatever number you want there. And then while we have data, we are going to write it to the stream. So stream.write, and we're going to write the data to the stream, and then we have to update our position in that stream. So we need to go data equals sound stim dot read frames, and we're going to read the same number of frames. Once we're at the end of the file, we return no data. We're going to break out of that while loop. So now we need to go stream dot stop stream. Uh, we then close the stream, and then what we're going to do is we're going to terminate our P object, Pi audio object. And so hopefully if this has worked, uh, we should hear what it comes out. Now I've purposefully spoken over this because I want to just run through this again. We've got the same number of uh, samples as what we had before. It should be about 3.71 seconds. So let's have a listen. What is the mystery file? How's it? I'm recording a test file. We'll play that again. How's it? I'm recording a test file. So hopefully you heard me say some words in a very bad South African accent. My point here is that using this method, so WAV file and stream and then reading data from the WAV file and passing it to the stream, 
can also reproduce sound, uh, sorry, speech quite well. We don't have any glitches or latency issues here. Let me just confirm that it is what I think it is. Yep, that's exactly what I what I recorded before. So this video is purposefully quick. It's just a practice on using this method of getting data from a WAV file into your sound card. In the next video, we're going to go through some different ways of getting sound out to your sound card. So we'll leave this video here. Uh, best of luck.